Chris Lee and Blake Lovell of Southeastern 14 presented by Stakes. We are previewing Akron's game at Tennessee. That's going to be Saturday night in Nayland Stadium. Tennessee, a 47 and a half point favorite, maybe 48 in places, playing at home. Kickoff 7 Eastern. You can only see that streaming on the SEC Network Plus or ESPN Plus. Blake Akron, one of the worst teams in the FCS, or excuse me, the FBS. There are FCS teams better than Akron. Um, Did our composite power rankings in the country last week. Akron was the fourth worst team by the 10 sources we used. Akron got a win over St. Francis of Pennsylvania, which is an FCS team the week before, blown out by Michigan State. I believe that was 51 to nothing. The Vols have had one of these games before against a MAC team where they were heavy favorites. That was two weeks ago against Ball State. Tennessee covered that one easily. Don't see much to suggest Akron puts up much of a fight in here. And and by the way, is is just a note, SEC storyline to watch, Akron coached by former Mississippi State coach Joe Moorhead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this would be uh, certainly more interesting. I think if it was still a Mississippi State Tennessee game here, um, like you said, Akron's just kind of, you know, they are where they are at this point. And, um, you know, I think you talked about the composite poll we had. Um, Ball State was at 116 heading into last week, which Tennessee's already played Ball State. And like you said, Akron was all the way down at 128. So that kind of, if you want to compare to what Tennessee did to, Ball State maybe going into this game if that's you know if you're trying to find something to to find some comparisons I assume you can do that Tennessee beat Ball State you know 59 to 10 and you know looking back that spread was what I think it was 37 something like that this one's 47 so it's just it's pretty um, ridiculous to kind of see what you get there from a spread standpoint but here's what we know Tennessee's offense is pretty remarkable at times. Um, and you know all the pressure they're going to put on you. And that's what I, I said about that game with Ball State. The thing about Tennessee is, even when they're up in a game, it's not like they're going to slow down. You know, they may not pass the ball as much, or they may not, you know, go for the jugular or anything, but they're still going to run their offense because, you know, you want all those guys behind your starters or if there's, you know, that situation, you're still going to be running your offense. So I think when you're looking at these big point spreads like this, that's what I always find kind of fascinating is, When you have a team like Tennessee, I feel like the number can continue to go even higher than you would think. You may look at that and say, well, man, 47, that's a lot of points. But, you know, Tennessee is going to keep doing their stuff. And so um, I I think this is one, you know, we always talk about kind of the the schedule and how it falls. Tennessee is coming off that huge win, you know, at Pitts, uh, just a, a big win. I mean, that's we said how important that game would be to their overall season. And now you've got this game sandwiched in the middle of the big rivalry game against Florida, um, you know, the following week. So I don't really see a letdown here from Tennessee because I just think they are just a superior team. And I think they will be able to do whatever they want. And again, like I said, the offense is where you're going to look at them and they're just going to keep doing their thing. And even if they're a little sluggish, maybe to start things off, they can put up points in a hurry. So, you know, we're, we're searching for stuff here, but um, yeah, Tennessee should win this game convincingly. So. Well, let's look at – Akron played a fairly comparable opponent in Michigan State. That was last Saturday. Akron threw for 203 yards, 5.8 per attempt, ran it 27 times for 26 yards. Uh, Michigan State rushed for 5.4 yards. you think State might run for a little more than that. Uh, Average 7.2 yards per the, you know, through the air. So, I mean – on a play-by-play basis, maybe Akron's defense not as porous as you would think it might be for a team that poor. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure Michigan – State. look, we're, we're very much reaching here. We're well, I was going to say – Thorough also, in our analysis, but uh, – I also don't I, I think, think Michigan State's offense – I think there might have been a few offense, reserves involved. Yeah. I don't think Michigan it's, State's it's, offense it's, is Tennessee's offense. So I think that's something, no. too, to, to certainly think about there. Um, but, like you said, we're, we're trying to find stuff here um, to make this interesting. But – when it comes down to it, Tennessee's just a better team, and yeah. uh, I think they will be able to to name their score here. And and like I said, I, I think we always talk about kind of the the schedule and how it falls. Coming off a very emotional win at Pitt, this game sandwiched in between Florida. Could you see Tennessee maybe not be as sharp as you would expect? 
perhaps, but as I've said all year long, I, I still think they're the team with, you know, the best chance to challenge Georgia there at the top. Although I think Georgia is, is you know, the winner in the SECs, but I've said, I think Tennessee's got a, a really good chance to be that, that second team in the East. And, you know, this is another game they should, they should take care of business. And then, you know, they'll go into a matchup against Florida with, you know, kind of, you know, a lot on the line there in terms of where the SEC East will, will kind of play out in terms of the standings by the end of the season. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, what do we take away from Akron's win over St. Francis? Uh, I don't, you know, there's not only, it's not a lot we can take away I'll from that. I'll tell you that. what I, mean, I take away from it. I'm now where St. Francis of Pennsylvania had a football team. So there you go. So, um, yeah, I, I think Tennessee, I mean, look, Tennessee's defense, if you're looking for a storyline to watch here, what does Tennessee's defense look like? Cause we said, I think that's an area they know they still have to have improvement in. Um, but offensively, I, I think Tennessee will be able to do what they want in this game. So shout out to our sponsor stakes. They are the presenting sponsor of our channel fun game. We both play it. Uh, college football season is underway. Best place to make your sports prediction without risking your bankroll. And that means without risking any bankroll because it's all free is stakes. That's S T A K E S predict anything in the game. Take the game time excitement to the next level. When you compete with your friends and other fans on the stakes app, during their weekly competitions, you can build your predictions track record by winning competitions and earning NFT trophies for making the perfect calls. Go to playwithstakes.com forward slash 14. Sign up, use the invite code Southeastern14 for a double welcome bonus. Have some fun, help our sponsor. And you know what? If you don't like our takes, bet against what, what we put in the app. And we'll put some prop bets and some stuff up there too. But I always caution anybody in a game like this. You look at Georgia last week, huge favorite over Sanford, a name your score game. Georgia kind of takes its foot off the gas, wins 33 nothing, shaves three minutes off the clock. So I hate games like this that are mismatches. I guess our best indication is what Tennessee did a couple of weeks ago. I also like to take the spread and the over-under and extrapolate a final score just to try it on for size. Uh, if you do that, Vegas has got Tennessee winning this one approximately 56 to nine, uh, w- which sounds about right. I do wonder about Akron getting nine, given the way Tennessee's defense looks uh, lately. But you know, when when Ball State did score theirs late, Tennessee fumbled with the reserve reserves in the game, gave them the ball, uh, you know, inside the 15. That led to some easy points. That happens in games like this. But look, we're just. We're, we're looking for anything because this is a complete mismatch um, and anything other than a Tennessee blowout would be a surprise. Tennessee minus 47. There you go. Yeah. I'm not even, I'm not hesitating. I mean, they're, it's Tennessee, their offense. We did this against Ball State. Like, why overthink it? Even if they're slowing down, they're not going to slow down in terms of the pace. And I just think that they will, they should. And, and the only yeah. hesitation you have is the sandwich between Pitt and Florida. But yeah. I don't. But we'll see. It's it's one way or the other. But I think just Tennessee as good as they are offensively. I think they they score fifty plus here and win this game by forty seven. Well, and 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 to be for for full disclosure here, we brought that up. We had some reservations about Tennessee covering against Ball State because they had the road trip to Pitt. You bench some starters late in the game. You're looking ahead. You're just trying not to get guys hurt. Could that have held the score down? Yeah, I didn't. It I didn't did have not. that hesitation, Chris. You you did not. I did. You you them. you never blinked so. on that one. Uh, and Same you're way not here. Blinking on this one either. And no. and I think that's the right call. Okay, we are previewing every single game involving SEC teams. For week three, we've either done them or we'll get to them. The best way to catch all that is to hit the subscribe button to our channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon with another SEC football preview.